When it comes to heavy-duty cars, European vehicles stand out because of their crazy horsepower numbers. These road giants are so strong that it seems like they are from another world. But what is the crazy reason for this insane amount of power? In this in-depth look, we'll dive into the worlds of engineering skill, technology progress, and government regulations to find out what makes European trucks so fast. Prepare to be surprised as we find out what's behind Europe's obsession with horsepower. Excellence in engineering is the best thing that can be done in the field. It shows how engineers are always trying to come up with new ideas, be accurate, and solve problems. This is what pushes the limits of what is possible. European trucks are shining examples of great engineering. They show what amazing things can be done when people with ability, knowledge, and passion work together. Excellence in engineering is based on a dedication to quality and the highest levels of craftsmanship. European truck makers put in a lot of work to make sure that every part, from the frame to the smallest bolt, meets strict standards. Using advanced technologies like computer-aided design and simulation tools, engineers can make small changes to designs and improve performance before building a single physical prototype. Accuracy is an important part of good building. European trucks are carefully made so that they work with the greatest precision and give the best performance, safety, and dependability. From the engine to the transmission to the brakes, each part works with the others in a complex way. Each part is finely tuned to work together smoothly. Because of this attention to detail, European trucks can handle even the hardest jobs with skill and speed. Turbocharging has completely changed the trucking business by making engines work much better. Turbochargers allow engines to make more power by compressing and pushing more air into the combustion chamber. Turbocharging systems like variable geometry turbochargers or twin turbo setups are common in European trucks. These settings improve how the engine responds over a wide range of speeds, giving quick power when it's needed and letting the car speed up smoothly even when it's carrying a lot. When it comes to giving European trucks crazy amounts of horsepower, advanced fuel injection systems take the lead. These cutting-edge systems are a huge step forward in engine technology. They give exact control over the way fuel is delivered and help get the most power out of the engine. European car makers have learned the art of fuel injection, using it to its fullest to make their engines run better. The idea of direct fuel injection is at the heart of modern fuel injection systems. Direct fuel injection is different from traditional indirect injection systems because it sends high-pressure fuel straight into the combustion chamber. This makes it easier to control the mixing of fuel and air, which leads to better combustion and more power. European trucks can get the most out of their engines by carefully timing the fuel injection and adjusting how much fuel is pumped. There are many good things about direct fuel injection. First, it improves how the engine responds and how the power is controlled. European trucks can react instantly to the driver's commands because they have precise control over how fuel is delivered. This gives them quick acceleration and makes them easier to drive. This means that the car is fun and exciting to drive, and the driver has easy access to a lot of power. Direct fuel injection lets European trucks get higher compression ratios, which makes them more powerful and gives them more speed. By putting the fuel straight into the combustion chamber, the chance of knocking or initial combustion is cut down. This lets the engine be tuned more aggressively, which leads to higher compression ratios that produce more power. European makers have also put in advanced electronic control systems to go with the direct fuel injection. These systems keep an eye on different engine factors in real time and keep adjusting the timing of fuel delivery and injection to improve performance. They use a network of instruments to get information about the engine's load, temperature, air pressure, and many other things. This makes sure that the fuel injection system works at its best in any driving situation. Engineers and makers in Europe are always looking for ways to make trucks lighter. This shows how committed they are to pushing the limits of performance and efficiency. It is a fascinating trip that goes deep into the worlds of material science, creative design, and a burning desire to find the perfect balance between strength and weight. European manufacturers approach lightweight building with a lot of care and precision. They choose materials that are strong and light at the same time. High-strength steel, which is known for its excellent tear strength and longevity, is used in key load-bearing areas to make sure the structure is sound. This lets the trucks handle the tough conditions of heavy-duty work while staying as light as possible.
However, European experts don't stop at steel. They look at a wide range of lightweight materials, but aluminum is the star of the show. This amazing metal, which is known for how strong it is for how light it is, is used in many parts of the truck. From the cab to the framework, aluminum saves a lot of weight without sacrificing sturdiness. This lets the trucks perform at a whole new level. European trucks work better and are more efficient because they have advanced aerodynamic designs. These designs are the result of careful engineering, a lot of testing in a wind tunnel, and computer models of fluid dynamics. European makers don't leave anything out of their search for streamlined shapes that reduce air resistance and make their trucks more aerodynamic overall. The frontal area of the truck is one of the most important parts of improved aerodynamic designs. By carefully shaping the cab, grille, and other prominent parts, manufacturers try to lower the frontal cross-sectional area of the truck. By smoothing out the edges and adding smooth lines, they reduce the amount of surface area that comes into contact with the air, which reduces drag. Managing the flow of air under the truck is another part of advanced aerodynamic designs. European automakers pay close attention to the car's undercarriage, putting in things like side skirts and air dams. Side skirts help cut down on air movement and keep air from getting stuck between the wheels. Air dams at the front and back of the truck control the flow of air around the tires, which cuts down on drag. Aerodynamic features are built into more than just the outside of the truck. European car makers also try to keep the engine area as smooth as possible. By adding airflow control systems to the engine bay, they make sure that air flows smoothly around the engine, radiator, and other parts. This makes the truck's handling even better by reducing drag and improving how well it cools. In addition to the way they look, European trucks often use cutting-edge technologies to improve their aerodynamic performance even more. Some trucks, for example, have airflow control systems that can be changed to fit different drive situations. These systems automatically change the position of some aerodynamic parts, like moving flaps or active window shutters, to improve the airflow based on things like speed, temperature, and the weight of the car. There are many perks to the advanced aerodynamic designs used in European trucks. By lowering drag and decreasing air resistance, these designs help cars use less fuel and put out less pollution. The trucks can cut through the air better because of their streamlined forms. This lets them go faster while using less fuel. This is good for the earth and helps trucking companies cut their costs of doing business. But it's important to remember that rules and regulations also have a big effect on the horsepower of European cars. In Europe, strict emission rules force manufacturers to make engines that not only have a lot of power, but also meet strict pollution rules. To do this, European trucks have improved emission control technologies like Selective Catalytic Reduction SCR, Diesel Particulate Filters DPF, and Exhaust Gas Recirculation EGR. These systems successfully cut down on harmful emissions, making sure that European trucks are both good for the environment and have insane horsepower. Also, because European roads are so different, European truck makers have to deal with their own unique problems. Trucks need to be strong and quick so they can get through a wide range of terrains and driving conditions, from steep mountain passes to tight city streets. European trucks have insanely high horsepower numbers because they need to be very fast and be able to handle tough conditions without giving up. In conclusion, the insane horsepower of European cars is caused by a perfect storm of factors. European makers have created a new breed of trucks that dominate the roads with power and efficiency that can't be beaten. The world of horsepower has also been changed by strict rules about emissions and the different needs of European roads. European trucks are the best of the best when it comes to engineering. They have mind-boggling horsepower, meet environmental standards, and can handle any task. When you see a European truck driving down the highway with a crazy amount of horsepower, Think about how amazing it is that engineers, technology, and rules all work together to make this possible.